praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I just want to jump on here real quick. Praise God. Hallelujah. This has been on my heart, my mind, my body, my soul, all my life, actually, because I've seen it. I've allowed it. Many women allow it. Men allow it. Both. The, let me tell you something. God cannot bless no mess. I'm going to make it short fast and in a hurry. God cannot bless no mess. I don't care how much you love him. I don't care how much y'all been together. Let me tell you something. When a man love you, truly love you, he honors you. He honors you before God, before family. You get married, you do it the right way. Then God, that way God can bless it. Some of y'all been shacking 20, 30, 40 years and he still ain't married you. Or two, three years. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. I had somebody um ask me one time in life, um, well, before I marry, you cannot, uh, you know, I'll try it out. Man, th this ain't no car lot. You don't get to try out nothing. When it's love that God ordained, women, stop selling your soft straw. Let me tell you something. I know that the statistics say that, you know, if you over 30 or over 40, man, forget statistics. God is a God of love and honor and respect. God will send you somebody from Timbuktu. You ain't got to run. You ain't got to look. You ain't got to buy no man. Some of y'all be buying men. Oh, I'm telling it all tonight. Y'all know it's true. I'm, you don't have to do all that. Love yourself, women. Quit letting these men use you up. And then after that, they go with somebody else anyway. Because you, you allowed it to happen. Because you think you can't get nobody else. That's why that's why that happens. Low self-esteem. And then he didn't mentally abuse you until you don't believe it anyway. I, I didn't been there. I know what I'm talking about. Stop allowing a man to shack with you, have sex with you. If they really love you, say honor me. If you can't honor me, I'm gone. Bye. I'm out. And vice versa. Quit letting people use you. That's never what God intended. There's a difference between making love and having sex, by the way, for all of you don't know. The world, they just nasty. And and, and, and it just seeped over to the church, into the homes. That's why these kids don't have a two-parent home. The standards have, have gotten lost. I hate I, I always hated that song that said, well, at least I get half a man, something like that. Y'all know that old song. Well, better half a man is better than no man. The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. God will bless you when it's your time. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But first, you got to love you. I, I, I'm i sorry. This just gets on my nerve. Because I honestly, and I'm going here, I, I, I see game. You know we all know game, right? You know when somebody's being used. And that hurts my heart that the person knows it too. And don't act like you don't know when somebody's using. Yes, you do. Some of you like to be used. Because guess what? At least I got somebody. Honey, I pray for everybody that is allowing this type of behavior in their life. That God open your eyes and let you know that you are beautiful. You are worth being pursued. You are valuable. You just got to wait. Quit settling. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Quit settling. You ain't no snack. That's how they treat women right now. A snack bag. And then when they finish... They go on to the next. And now you, you all, that honestly, this is what actually caused some um, homosexuality. Some women have been so misused by men, mentally, physically, they don't have nothing to do with men. So that, so they go to the other side. Oh, we're going to keep it 100 up in here. Y'all know it's true. And vice versa. I'm praying for everybody because none of us are perfect. But I'm just saying life is too short. Life is too short to just be selling and letting somebody use you and abuse you because you're scared to be alone. There it is. Most people are scared to be alone. Y'all know it's the truth. Let's just be real. And, and, and I know what it feels like. But honey, you got to trust God. I'm not going to be alone. I just wanted y'all to, man, just know. This not even cool. Hallelujah. That's right. If God didn't send him, he would use you up. Mm -hmm. And I, you, and then when the right one come, you make him pay for what the wrong one did. Come on, somebody, hallelujah! Y'all know it's true. Oh, I didn't. They didn't turn off my thing. <laughs> All right, you guys.
Well, I just want to get up on here because there there's a situation and my heart is just hurting for her. And I've tried to talk to her, but she's not listening to me. And I'm like, well, enjoy it while you can, honey. Enjoy it while you can. Y'all know what I'm saying is true. I, I, I never want to hurt people. I want to help you. You know, um, and we got to do better. We got to do better. But first, it starts with our own choices. Praise God. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers, for that is who we are. And I pray that men and women love you. Love you. God loves you. Love you. Y'all have a blessed night. Good night.